Being a landlocked country, Malawi, a southeastern African country, isn't limited in terms of economic and natural diversity, such as the renowned Lake Malawi and a number of minerals it has. Malawi's economy is expected to grow by 3.5% in 2024, driven by improvement in foreign exchange reserves, recovery in a number of sectors such as agriculture, tourism, exports and foreign direct investments. Adding to those mentioned economic changes, Malawi is looking at mega-projects as further boosters of its economic growth and development, hence coming up with a number of mega-projects. In this video, the focus is on mega-projects. Malawi is coming up with from 2024 through 2025 and on. Drug Factory Project Li Longwe Sitting on a land of over 11 hectares, this drug factory construction ease under Malawi is real gold in partnership with Kamuzu College of Medicine. The project will consist a cannabis farm and a factory manufacture in drugs from medicinal cannabis. The factory after its completion in 2025 will have a total of over 100 million US dollars sunk into it. Problems concerning importation of medical drugs are expected to be solved by this drug factory. Cannabis has so many components that help in manufacturing drugs, so having its own farm area on the site is key towards the development of this facility. Mozambique Malawi Oil Pipeline Project This oil pipeline spanning from either Baira or Nokala in Mozambique to Blantyre in Malawi will be able to transport a capacity of 250,000 litres per hour to Malawi. As Malawi imports 50% of its fuel from the port of Baira and 20% from Nokala and the remaining 30% from the port of Dar es Salaam, the introduction of this pipeline will cut transportation and importation costs. The government of Malawi sees a serious issue to work on concerning fuel importation because the country spends around $600 million annually on fuel imports alone as consumption of diesel and petrol continues to rise rapidly. Malawian consume around 840, 5,000 litres of petrol and 834,000 litres of diesel, hence the need for the $600 million. Adding to the oil pipeline, the government is considering building storage tanks in Nokala to support the goal of increasing the transportation of oil by train Somwe, Hilraya Earth's Minerals Project. With completion of this project being in 2025, the results of feasibility study of this rare earths mine were released in 2022. Being under Mokang Resources Limited, which received approval for the development of the mine from Malawi Environmental Protection Agency which assessed the environmental impact of the mine in 2023. It is estimated to have an operational life of 18 years, requiring an initial capital expenditure of $277.4 million. The annual processing capacity of the mine will be approximately 1 megatons of ore including total rare earth oxides, mixed rare earth carbonate, dysprosium, terbium oxides, Neodymium and praise Audemium Oxide. Malawi Kamwamba Thermal Power Plant Project.
This 300 megawatts coal-fired power project is coming up in the southern region of Malawi. Being developed on a single-phase basis, the plant is expected to enter into commercial operation at the of 2024. The project developer and owner is Electricity Generation Company Malawi with a 100% stake. This steam turbine coal-fired plant will obtain fuel produced from Moatizi Mine. Chimgonda Hydro Power Plant Project This 60 MW hydro power project is planned on Dwombezi River in central region of Malawi. The project's construction is in 2024, with commercial operation being expected in 2026. Over $100 million and more are to be injected into this project, which is under Electricity Supply Corporation of Malawi, an electrical supply company which is owned by the government of Malawi. Multinational Malawi Zambia Road Corridor Phase for Project. The project involves the rehabilitation of a 75 km road between Liwondi and Mongoshi in Malawi along the Nokala Road Corridor plus establishment of one-stop border posts between Malawi and Zambia. The project will consist of four components namely road rehabilitation and safety improvements, transport and trade facilitation, social inducedness activities and support to project management. Efficiency along the Nokala Red Corridor will be improved plus regionally improving road transportation and trade facilitation along the Nokala Road Corridor from Lusaka in Zambia through Malawi and Mozambique to the port of Nokala. The project will benefit the two million people living along the corridor. Lilongwe Water Sanitation Project with focus on bringing reliable water supply and sanitation services to Lilong City. This project is a World Bank funded one. The project is being implemented by Lilong Water Board and through it, half a million residents from the capital city are to benefit from improved water and sanitation services with a total cost of 100 million US dollars. The project is expected to be completed in 2025. It is among the biggest projects in the water and sanitation sector to be undertaken by the city. The challenges of water and sanitation in the city will be minimised and it will also enhance socio-economic development in the city. The project will increase on the population of the city, served by the sewer system especially that which relies on the on-site sanitation systems, such as pit latrines and septic tanks. Industrial Park for the Malawi Investment Trade Centre project. This special economic zone project, supported by the Government of Malawi through Ministry of Trade and Industry, aims at establishing and construction of industrial parks and factory shells at designated sites across the country to facilitate investment in various strategic sectors of the economy. The project will sit on over 400 hectares of land in Area 55, Lilongwa proposed site for an industrial park. It will boost value addition of Malawian products for international export markets and will also promote and facilitate trade and investments in Malawi.